Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. I'm going to show you how I level my accounts from level 1 to level 30 really fast. There are many websites selling cheap League of Legends accounts. The cheapest ones I've found were around $2. If you have money and are willing to spend it, I recommend buying an account instead of leveling it because it takes a few weeks to level an account without XP boosts. If on the other hand you are not comfortable with buying accounts and want to level your own, but you still want to spend money, then you might want to buy XP boosts. I will show you a very cheap way to get 14-day XP boost. Go to Store, Champions tab and then Bundles. Here we have a few bundles that give us 3 champs, 3 skins and a 14-day boost. It's really worth it since some of these skins are really good. And also these are some of my favourite skins, especially Dragon Slayer Vayne, Shockblade Z, Nightblade Aurelia and Battle Bunny Riven. Another reason why it's worth it is because if you go to Accessories tab and then Boosts, you will see that a 7-day boost costs more than 1,000 RP, while you are getting 2 times more than that, a 14 days boost and for only 650 RP. Down here you can also buy per win XP boost but I don't recommend it since it's really expensive. If you want to, you can buy that as well because it stacks with the 14 day boost so you will have 2 boosts active and it will triple the amount of XP you get per game. If you don't want to buy boosts, it's also fine, but as I already said, it will take you a few weeks to level your own account without boosts. There are no cheat codes for that so you will have to enjoy the process. Okay, now what you want to do is queue up for a game of intro bots. When you get into Champion Select, you want to first set your runes which will be Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity and Last Stand. And for the second rune tree you want to select Demolish and Revitalize. Also you want to take Adaptive Force, Attack Speed and Health. For Summoner spells you want to take Teleport and Smite. Now we watch One Piece while we wait for the game to start. Once you are on the rift, you want to buy only a dagger and follow my steps that I'm about to show you. Use your first E on this wall and then walk up to enemy base and E over. Stand in between two Nexus turret ranges and wait for minions to spawn. Now hit them while you're getting their aggro and then smite one of the casters because they do double the damage. Pull minions to the top wave and grab two or three caster minions, this is important. Kite the minions a bit because they do a lot of damage on level 1. After you've killed the minions, die to a turret and buy another dagger. Use your teleport on bot turret and push the wave. Make sure to get as much minions as possible since you need gold for items. Remember to use your E ability to hit as much minions as possible. You don't need to take W, just max your Q, and then after that max E. You also don't want to be using your Q off cooldown because your rage gives you extra critical. Always try to use your Q after you've killed a whole wave. Save your smite for cannon minions always because they are very tanky and do the most damage. They usually take three auto attacks, one E and a smite to die.
After you kill the fourth wave, which comes after siege wave, make sure to keep your rage because Ezreal and Alistar will come always at three minutes. Always go for Ezreal first because he's much more squishy. Here I couldn't target Ezreal because Alistar was blocking his hitbox, so I decided to kill Alistar first. Remember, try to always keep rage for the wave. Also, try to use Demolish on turrets off cooldown because that way you push faster. Now just keep killing them and pushing the waves and turret. Here since we have enough money for our items that we want to buy, and also our teleport is coming off of cooldown, we can die while killing Ezreal and Alistar for extra gold. Now buy Gwinsu's Rage Blade, Berserker's Greaves, Recurve Bow, Blasting Wand. And if you have money left, buy Amplifying Tome and another dagger. We bought Blasting Wand and Tome because our Q scales with more AP so we can heal more and sustain the damage. Now we teleport to bot turret and keep pushing. Since we have Gwinsu's, we cannot crit anymore, so we can use our Q whenever we have full rage and we need health. We can now just ignore them and take turret and then kill them after that. If possible, try to kill them all at the same time so that they respawn at the same time and you have more time to hit minions and turrets. If not, it's okay. Just kill them outside of turret range and keep pushing. Keep in mind that you have lethal tempo. You can auto-attack them to reset it so that you can push faster. Always make sure not to let any enemy minions go past you because then your wave will be stuck behind you and you won't be able to destroy the turret.
And there you have it, a 9 minutes and 30 seconds game. The longer the game lasts, the more experience you are going to get. Since this one was really quick, we got 56 XP and another 56 because we have a 14 day boost enabled on our account. If you decide to buy the XP boost per win as well, you will get another 56 which would result in a total of 168 XP for only a 9 minutes and 30 seconds game. If you ever get bored doing this, which you probably will, what I like to do as well is play some Arams. They give more XP since you are not playing against bots, but in rare occasions they can last even 40 to 50 minutes. But that's not a bad thing since the longer the game lasts, the more XP you are going to get. That would be all. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the guide and would like to support the channel, go ahead and jungle diff that like button. Now go grab some free XP.